here in Barcelona, of course, we have all of the, the newest, latest, greatest technology. But it's not so long ago that 100G came on the market and people thought that this might be overkill. But in fact, only a year after it was introduced by Huawei, it is gaining fast market acceptance. We're here with one of the executives who is rolling out these solutions across the planet and we're finding out that it is moving very quickly. Thanks for joining us. Tell us, what are some of the key drivers behind the 100G phenomenon? Uh, 100G router uh, clearly is one of the key drivers. However, it is not the only one. A uh, fast increasing number of 10 giga E and below also imposes big pressure on the transmission network. I think that is also one of the key drivers. Tell us a little bit about Huawei's coherent 100G applications. Huawei DWDM 100G has been selected by 15 operators globally, uh, including uh, Rose Telecom from Russia, uh, SFR from France, and uh, China Education and Research Network, uh, as well as OE from Brazil. And apart from that, we also have done uh, over 40 uh, 100G field trials, as well as uh, lab tests uh, with the leading operators such as uh, Deutsche Telekom, uh, Telefonica Spain, et cetera, et cetera. And what are some of the advantages of Huawei's 100G solutions? Huawei coherent 100G DWDM is able to deliver ultra long haul capability. So by advanced modulation scheme and the SD fac, as well as optimized optical amplifiers, we are able to reach 2,500 kilometers without electrical regeneration over terrestrial fiber, uh, with the submarine fiber even longer. We did uh, prove this capability in several uh, field trials with the leading operators. For instance, uh, 2,110 kilometers with Deutsche Telekom and uh, 5,570 kilometers uh, in uh, Transatlantic Ocean field trial uh, with a North American operator as well as 3,000 kilometers with China Telecom. Now some other key attributes, simplified OAM, could you tell us about that? Huawei has an innovative solution for improving the operational efficiency of 100G network called the Optical Doctor, through which operators could have a remote visibility of many analog parameters of 100G lambdas. Uh, for instance, uh, optical power, as well as the OSNR of 100G lambdas. So through which operators could have uh, improved operational efficiency and minimizing um, the operational efforts. And what about bandwidth zero waste? OTIN architecture enables any flexible combination of any smaller granularity services to fit into 100G lambda, so which improves dramatically the bandwidth utilization so this is also is to uh, reduce the uh, transmission cost per bit of 100G. And finally, what's the significance of introducing ASON-capable 100G? Leveraging Huawei rich experiences uh, with WDM ASON deployments worldwide, we are in a unique position to offer mature ASON capability over 100G network. So I believe this is another important value we can bring to our customers.